Intuit recently uh, introduced a new feature when developing against the QBO API, and that feature is sandboxes, which are very nice. Now, in my last screencast about doing basic connection with a Rails app to QBO, um, you needed to have your own QBO account. Not only did you make that, have to make your developer account, make the app on the developer account, but you need your own QBO account to test. And into what you would usually give you one for one year, but that's been done away with, and the sandboxes have been brought in. So I'm gonna in this screencast going to update that old those old articles and uh, that screencast to connect to a sandbox. Okay, let me see where I'm at here. Let me look at the Git branches. Okay, so I'm on an account branch. Let's go back to master. Let me look at the history there. Okay, replace original query. That was, I just got to look. This is March 7th since the last Git commit. All right. Okay, let me go into my standard Tmux group of windows. Let's take a look at the minimal cast dev. Got it running on their pal here. Okay. All right, let me go back over here now. First, I'm just gonna update Rails itself. Let's get that on the latest version. Let me check. Okay, I wanna see what I have in this particular gem set for RVM, what version I have. Okay, and I got Rails 416, so I don't have to do a, a new install. Okay, I'm gonna do a bundle update Rails to get that new version. And I'll take a little bit of time and I'll come right back. Okay, the bundle update went just swell. So I'm gonna just make sure we get restarted there and see if everything went okay here. Should be fine. Okay, good, there's no errors. All right, now next, I'm gonna want to gonna update QuickBooks Ruby gem here. Let me just update this to a little more modern syntax, which would just be to get rid of those things there. And I'm going to update that gem as well. Okay, I'll just hang on here. This shouldn't be too long. Uh, maybe it'll take a little bit of time, so I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, that bundle did update did take a little long, but we're now up to the latest there from the uh, QuickBooks Ruby Master at GitHub. So again, I'm just going to restart. Just going to refresh, make everything, make sure everything's okay. Just any breakages going on. Okay, everything's fine. Let me run, go over to the developer account now and into it. All right. Yeah, things are a little slow this morning, I think, for me. Well, I'll be. Back. I'm gonna log in. I'll, I'll be back and set up the screen with uh, where we should be. Okay, so it finally did load, and I. I was able to log in, and here's my here's my dashboard. I got two sample apps in my my this particular login, and we're working with minimal cast. So let's go in there. Okay, let me say this to the now. I've already made the sandbox. So when you first log in, if you haven't made a sandbox to your developer account, there'll be a link there at the bottom of the screen, I believe, pointing you to make your sandbox. You get one sandbox for per login. Okay, so you don't make um, sandboxes for each 
app or some, something like that. So I've already done that step. Um, so that's a very important thing to add. Okay. Here we have test integration with your unique, your unique sand QuickBooks sandbox. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, so here we have my the URL. And it's really nice, and we have the new UI, which is, if you don't know, it's called Harmony. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? And we have sample customers in here. Got some sample vendors as well, transactions. So this is the sandbox. Now let's get integrated with it. You know, but first let me make a, I'm still in my, my master here. Let me uh, make a new branch. So let me get stash this first. And let's see, why don't we do a, yes, a part four branch. And let me pop those changes back in there. Okay. And let me make those commits as well. Okay, um, you may notice I'm using, uh, these are GS, that's git status. Th these are bash aliases. I just use, that's git, that's another alias, a GCAM for doing a full commit. Um, so if you're taking a look at those, that, that's what they are, they're bash aliases. If you're not using aliases, I highly recommend them, whether, what, whatever, if you're in bash or in um, uh, Z shell. Um, really leverage those for uh, frequently used commands. But anyway, let's keep moving here. Now next we're going to, I'm gonna open up config initializers, QuickBooks Ruby, this is from last time. Now I need to put these uh, keys back in here. So I'm gonna do that right now. So in this, going back to this tab, okay, so we're back to minimal cast, I'm in this development tab, there's a production tab. So when you have an app in development, you need to use Sandbox. Other than that, you use the regular keys if it's production. But we're in development here. Now I'm gonna go over here, get these keys, the consumer key, consumer secret, and copy it over to here. Now you would do the same. I'm, not, I'm gonna keep it offline just to keep those keys, uh, try to keep those keys out of the screencast. I think they're in the last screencast and I don't really care, this is a test account, but I'll, there's, I don't see any way to regenerate um, these, um, the consumer keys. So uh, I'm gonna try to keep them out of the screencast. So I'm gonna myself go offline right now. I'm gonna copy those keys and uh, stick them in here and then restart uh, my server. Okay, I actually had my, uh, my consumer key and consumer secret, OAuth consumer key, OAuth consumer secret in my um, uh, bash environmental variables set. So, and this is really the way you're supposed to do it. And, and furthermore, we're in Rails 4.1, so we, we could stick these guys into uh, secrets.yaml, but I'm gonna skip that. I'm already, I feel like I'm going a little long here. So you'd want it to look like that. Now, if you do use environmental variables, I mean, if you're just testing, you just stick them in there. Um, I wouldn't bother, but um, if you do uh, use envir environmental variables like this uh, from your shell, make sure you resource that shell. That always gets me, but uh, you gotta resource your shell. Sometimes I'll even get out of Tmux, source the, the shell I'm in there, and then go back and start a fresh Tmux just to be, just to be certain that those uh, environmental variables are now in your Rails environment. Okay, so there was a new option added to the QuickBooks Ruby gem, and that's sandbox mode, and that's what we wanna go into. That's gonna connect to the proper URL that we, that is for sandboxing, which, if you remember, here it is, sandbox.qbo.intuit.com. Now, um, why don't we just fire up, let me, 
and restart the server there. And let me just see what's going on here. Let's start hitting buttons. Okay, let's reload. Let's see if we can get those new o OAuth tokens here. Okay. Now it opens up a new tab. I'm in full screen mode here in the browser. Other than that, I believe it's a pop-up. Uh, but it goes to a new tab um, because I'm in full screen mode here for the screencast. Okay, good. Well, we got the Christian Pelzarski Sandbox Company. All right, let's authorize. So I'm already signed in too. Um, so I, I, I would have got that sign in screen as well, but it skips that. And we're just going to go to authorize. Okay, we're now connected. And we got the call back successfully. But we need to see if we can make a new vendor. Now, I can't edit these because Tristan and John Smith are not in this um, um, sandbox. They're, they're in my, my old test account. And uh, th these are hardwired to do updates. So that update will fail. So I got to make a new vendor here. Let's take another one of my kids here. Um, Riley. Yeah, it's Pelzarski, if you want to know how to pronounce my last name. And... and Minimal.com. Okay, let's create this, see what happens. All right, says so the vendor was successfully created. Let's go over to the vendor here. Let's see if we can see find Riley. All right, did it reload? Okay, come on. This is this is search working. There, we, okay. It's it's kind of a. It looks like we're not finding Riley. Let me just scroll down. How many do we have here? Okay, looks like it did not go through. All right, let's go. Uh, um, if you remember in uh, the previous screencast, there was, uh, there was that where you, you can see your all your activity. Well, that's now in this audit log. So you go to this settings gear icon and go to the audit log. And okay, well, we are logged in and we did add Riley. So, um, maybe we just need to refresh the view here. Well, there it is right there. Riley at Pelzarski. Okay, so everything worked fine. Now, um, to, there is, let me show this on the, um, oops, I want to show you something. I didn't run across this, but there is a um, perhaps a little gotcha, and I I have ran across something similar in um, in Rails four point one apps, and that's this. Um, they've changed the way they're doing some of the session uh, mechanics behind the scenes, and uh, so if it says if you're using Rails four point one, uh, you will need to wrap the token in Marshall load. Now, I didn't run across this in this screencast. And maybe it was because I was upgrading and the the old um, uh, stuff, the old secret, whatever's in, I forget what's in the config initializer or, or what is going on exactly back here. But you may run into this if you're doing a fresh Rails 4.1 app and then and, and running uh, this example um, from the screencast. So just, just be aware of that. So thanks again for watching and uh, hope this helps.